Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in crouching into your game. So this is quite a simple one, but it can also take a bit of time if you don't know what you're doing. So let's get right into it. So for this, I'm going to be using some animations from the Anim Starter Pack, which you can get for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace on Epic Games. However, the crouching animations are for holding a gun as well, but for me, this is fine as it's just to show you how to do it. But I will link it down below just in case you're interested. So what we're going to do first is open up our character blueprint. So mine's third person BP, blueprints, third person character. This is just whichever one that you are using. And we'll come down, find some space. And actually before we do this as well, we want to create the action mapping. So if we minimize this, go to edit and project settings. And then if we go down to input, down here, open action mappings, hit plus. I'm going to call this crouching or crouch like that. You call it whatever you want and set the key to whatever you want it to be. So I want mine to be left control, like that. So if I'm holding left control, then I'm going to be crouching. And you can set this to be toggle or hold, but we set that up after this. So we close this and then go back into the blueprint, like this. And if we right click and just search for that, what we called it. So I called mine crouch, and there it is. And if you want it to be so you're holding left control or whatever you chose, you're just going to come off of pressed and then get crouch, which is already a function that Unreal have made for us and then off of released just simply get uncrouch like that and it is as simple as that so that's for holding but if you want it to be toggle you untick those and then come off of pressed and get a flip flop like that A will go into crouch B will go into uncrouch like that and a flip flop basically just toggles between these two variables so the first time you press left control it will crouch second time uncrouch and just keep going between those two so then after this we're going to want to set a variable so over here in the bottom left, we're going to hit plus variable and I'm going to call this is crouching question mark like so. And you want to keep this a Boolean and by default, you want it to be false. And then we'll just drag and drop those on there to set them after we do this. So obviously when we're crouching, we want to tick that so that it is crouching true and on crouch, we're going to leave it as false. So unticked like that. And then after this, we're going to want to select the character movement up in the top left up here, search for crouch, and then we're just going to tick can crouch like that, hit compile. And then just to show you what this is doing, I'm going to go and click on the capsule component and untick hidden in game there so we can see it. And then we'll just minimize this, hit play to test it. You can see that if you hit left control to crouch, the capsule component shrinks down like that. And then when we press it again, it goes back up. So when we are crouching, the capsule component goes like that which just alters our collision and the movement speed is already slowed down as well and then if we hit it again to stop crouching capsule component goes back up and the movement speed is increased so like I say this is already all built in for us we just need to set up the animation we close this and then set up the animation we're going to do this in our animation blueprint so like I say I'm using a mannequin so I already have one so if I go to mannequin animations third person anim bp it should be in here go back to anim graph uh, state machine there we go so I'm just gonna have this come off of this blend space here for the idle and run if I just drag up an arrow off of this and add a state like that I'm gonna call this crouch like so and then drag an arrow back off of this back towards the idle run because I only want to be able to do this when we are idle or moving not when we're jumping so then for these transitional lines I'm gonna go from idle run to crouch first so this is if we're crouching what we're going to do is use the is crouching variable we made. So first we want to go back to the event graph here. We want to get some space down here and just simply come off and cast to our character. So cast to third person character like that. Object obviously being get player character. And as third person character, we're just going to simply get is crouching. And now there is already a function in the character movement which we can use as well. Or we can use the one we made. So I'm going to use the one that we made just so we know and in case we want to modify it any, any way we want to. So we'll put that in there and then just right click this, promote variable and then call this variable is crouching question mark. So the exact same and we'll just plug that in there to be able to set it like so. Hit compile and go back to this transition here, idle run to crouch. I'm just going to simply drag in and get is crouching and just come off of this and get an equals equal boolean like that and tick it to true and then plug that in there. So what this means is if crouching, if is crouching is set to true, then you can enter the transition. So we'll go back to default here, 
and then go to the transitional nodes going from crouch back to idle run. I'm going to do the same but opposite. So get is crouching like so. Drag off of this and what we're going to do here is just get a not boolean and plug that in there. So again this means if is crouching is not true then it will allow us to transition back to idle run instead of crouching. And then this is going to be the crouching wheel not moving and what we want to do is come off of this so drag off and then add another state and this is going to be crouch moving so obviously you want to crouch idle and a crouch moving so then we'll plug that back into there and the transitional node for crouch to crouch moving what we're going to do is get is crouching get an equal equal so equal boolean set this to true like that and what we're going to do is drag for this and then get an and boolean so you want it to be this and something else and the and is going to be speed so we'll get speed and then we'll get float is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to a float and we're going to set this to a small number like 10 so if you're moving then we'll do this so plug that into there and again plug this into there so what this means is if you are crouching and you're moving and you've got both of those then we're going to be able to go into this one here so then go back to default and the transitional node from crouch moving to crouch will just be the opposite of this so actually i can just copy and paste this into there so Go double click on that again, plug that into there, plug all this in, and then what we'll do is just delete that, we'll delete these two, come off of this and get a not, and you could just untick it, but I'm just going to do this for now, so then get a not like that, and then come off of this and get a float is less than or equal to a float, and we'll set this to something like 5, and then plug that into there again like that. So again, if you are not crouching and your speed is less than 5, then you will go back to that. Actually, I might set this to, uh, I think five will be good. So we'll hit compile. Now all we need to do is just add in our animations for it. So we'll go back to default, and then we double click on crouch. This is gonna be the one that we want to be crouch idle. So your animations should be down here, but if they're not, just make this a bit smaller, and you can just drag them in like that. So just drag and drop them in there, like this. So this is the crouching idle, so this is perfect. I'll plug that one in there like that. Go back to default and then go to crouch moving and just do the same thing. So drag in crouch moving this time. Mine's called crouch walk forward. So I'll just plug that in there like that. So if I hit compile, minimize this and hit play to test it, we should see that if we hit crouch, so left control, place the crouch animation and the capsule has got a bit smaller. And then if we walk forward, it plays the crouch move forward animation. However, if we stop moving, it still plays animation. The reason for that will have set up the speed wrong in the transition node. So if we go back to this, crouch moving to crouch. So the reason we've got that is that's if you're not crouching. So actually we don't need this here. So this part is wrong. So it does still need to be crouching. So that's my bad. If we get another equal boolean there, leave that to true. So if you're crouching and the speed is less than five, then go back to just crouching. So if we try this again, if we crouch, we're like that, we can move around. And if we stop, it goes back to the crouching, like so. And so this works perfectly. And if we hit space, we can't jump as we are crouching. So that works all perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've set it up so that we can crouch and uncrouch. And I've got this on a toggle, but you can also do this on hold, which I showed you as well. And when you are crouching, your speed is lower. Your height capsule is lower, so you can fit under objects. And it plays perfect animations. So if we're not moving, we have a crouch idle animation. And when we are moving, we have a crouch move forward animation as well. So just to show you can fit under objects, let me just get in a cube here, drag this up, make it a bit bigger. I think that should be good. And then we can see you can't fit under it, but you can crouch underneath it like so. So that worked out perfectly. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.